Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and we're back again. So, if you guys notice, I'm in my little hut, and uh, it's a bit brighter outside. So, some things happened while you guys were gone, and I'll actually explain some of this here in just a bit. But, uh, essentially, we started recording, and we tried to get rid of that little border up at the top that you guys are seeing while I'm recording. And, uh, <laughs> apparently, my program does not like full screen. But that's okay, because I'm still going to show you guys exactly what's going on, as well as kind of fill in some blanks as to certain things. Now, I remember last time I told you guys, hey, you know, we, we got to make, like, um, molds and things like that, right? And we got to do it out clean. I was clicking all over the place trying to figure it all out. Check this out, guys. Boom, boom, boom. Two clay molds. Simple as that. Now, I also, oh, see, I screwed up. Now, I also mentioned stuff like pickaxes and things like that, right? Well, check this out. And boom. Now, I didn't do too much. You know, I did a little bit of research to kind of get my job going again. And quite a few things are different than what I remember, so it's going to be partially a learning process for me as well. But check this out. So, we got this pot. Let's, um, we're going to make a couple more clay things real quick because. We got to do this in, um, groups of two, I believe. No, this is wrong. Um, no, that's wrong too. Huh. See, now I got to remember how to do this. And it's weird. It's a very bizarre shape. Yeah, I, I, I literally don't remember how to do it now. Oi, I feel so stupid. That actually seems about right, and I'm probably screwing it up royally. Anyways, in the meantime... I promise to show you guys. So if you shift click, boom. Now we got a couple of things in this hole now. But obviously we want to get like that where it's cooking. So here's what we do. We take some straw and we take some wood. And first thing we do is right click with the straw until we fill this all the way up as best we can. Then we cover the top with a couple pieces of wood. And there we go. Firestarter and Shibuzi. There we go. And boom. You know, we got a little thatch house. We got a little bit of pottery going. I wonder why that one went out. Can they not be too close to one another? Don't they need, like, open air to breathe? I wouldn't doubt it. The way this is, uh, Terra Firma Craft is, is so many things are so temperamental. You gotta be really careful about how you do certain things. There we go. We'll just make kind of a little fire pit there and go. If you guys also notice, I plant my trees. So, that's a thing. Um, sun's going down, so we need to do what we need to do while we have an opportunity. First things first is I want to get hydrated. You guys have noticed I haven't really let my character drink anything yet, so we'll just kind of swim around in the water for a few moments. Yeah, I know. You don't normally get hydrated by swimming in the water, but, you know. <laughs> oh, if I press shift and I'm a bit lower in the water, I get more. It's kind of nice. Okay, so we got a couple moments and I gotta get the balls out of here. Yep, time to move. That should be hydrated enough. You don't seem to dehydrate as quickly as you starve, which I guess is true to real life. Uh, someone please write in the comments whether it is or not, but I don't think you, uh, yeah. Anyways, while we have a chance, I'm gonna go ahead and get one of these big ass trees, you know? That way we got plenty of wood for a while. Hopefully, uh, my stone ass can take the beating. Nope. No, it cannot. Okay, we ain't got much time. Oh yeah, that's right, because this is a sequoia. Okay, well. 
We'll try this rock. If I'm not mistaken, this rock's a bit more durable than the ones we've been using. Okay. And... We got just a couple seconds before we start getting mauled to death by, uh, the local residents. Let's face it, we've already, you know, come to the accusation that they don't like me at all. So, come on, chop faster, chop faster. I would kill for a metal axe right now. Uh, come on, come on. Oh, I'm punching this thing, ain't I? Did I waste my axe? I think I did. Jeez. Uh oh. Are those residents I told you about that didn't like me? Yeah, I think they found me. Crap baskets. Okay. Time to move. I like roses. I'll take it. Take the daisy too. Okay. Those are still burning. Um, front door for the time being is going to be a pumpkin. Okay. So we got some guys. Real talk here. You never use Sequoia like that. White Cedar? Maybe. Never a Sequoia. If you're ever gonna have some Sequoia, first off, you better be rich as hell, otherwise, I'm gonna have to punch you. The second thing is, is these trees are so old and just wonderful that make a chair or something, but don't waste, you know, that resource. Because, um, you actually can't get any more saplings. I think that's the only sapling in the game that you can't get, and it's because these trees don't really give off saplings. They live so long, their lifespan is so huge, it makes us look insignificant by comparison. Having said that, you kind of come to this interesting setup. And yeah, I just stuck a stick in the fire. Oh, look at that. We got torches. I told you there was a special way to get torches. There we go. I wonder. This is something that's in some versions of uh, Minecraft. Not a lot of them. Yeah, it's not in this one. There. Now we'll always be able to find our way home. Because this torch will indefinitely stay lit, thankfully. But yeah, um, had a teacher once. He managed to get his hands on some uh, sequoia wood. And he said that this was the most wonderful thing to carve out of, but it costed him an arm and a leg. And I, I believe him, honestly. Um, just how old these trees live and how hard they're, they are to get. I literally don't doubt, you know, that this was one of the most expensive purchases of probably his life. Especially for a crafting material. Oh. Did it just steal my torch? Yeah, I think it just stole my torch. Let's put the torch over here this time. Yes, I'm using dirt to get up a sequoia. Get over yourselves. I'm really not getting something with that I couldn't reach earlier, am I? Ah, uh, probably not. Oh, balls. It was worth a try, guys. It was worth a try. Ooh, stick. That's nice. Okay. Wow, that fire is still going. Look at that. Huh. Still wonder where that first fire went out. It's weird. Okay. Well, oh. Oh, cool, look, our pottery's done. Sweet. See, that's what I was talking about, guys. Um. At once you cook it, yep, on both ends, too. Sweet. So, I don't even remember what I put in here. What I put in here. There we go. Apparently I had a bunch of molds made. That's great. 
thing. Didn't I have like a vase I had in one of these? Where's my vase? Oh, there it is. So you guys are probably wondering why I was so anxious about a stupid little boss, right? That's why. If you right-click it, you actually can, um... There we go. Let me get my torch back. You can actually put stuff in it. So if we put this down by shift-clicking, right? We can actually put this thing down. In the meantime, let's see. Seeds, because we're going to want those. We're going to put some of these bushes in here. And sadly, that's all we can fit in there. So that's going over there for the time being. At least until we can start making stuff like chests and things like that. And yeah, chests are going to be a real pain in the ass to get. And now we've got this little, you know, fire pit we've got over here. So as soon as it's daylight, which it looks like we got a little bit of time left, we're going to go on a hunt. And this hunt is going to take us to who knows where... Because we need to go find a metal that we can work pretty much now. And now that we've actually got these ceramic molds, that's a thing. So, yeah. We're also probably going to want to get some more clay. So, I guess while we wait, because it doesn't look like we're going to be under attack anytime soon. Let's, uh, let's make a couple things. Um, first off, we're going to need more shovels. And then we'll make a couple shovel heads. There we go. There's two. And then we need an axe. Okay. So we got two axes, two shovel heads. We're just going to leave these over here. I've already got some knives set, you know, over there to the side. And since we got that vase there, I'll go ahead and put this down. And we'll put these down just so I'm not carrying them in my inventory. So, um, here's another trick. If you shift click, you can actually do something really cool. And, um, da -da 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 yeah, I can't sing. Get over it. Shift click, and now we got a wood pile. So, and the wood pile doesn't need to be all one kind of wood. Check this out. Drop a sequoia, put this in, and then put my white cedar in. Boom. Fantastic. I'm about to starve to death. We should eat. There we go. And since we're good on veggies, let's get some gooseberries in us. Well, that didn't last long. Long falls. Okay. So we got two wood piles, we got our little marker, can I hit M? Yes I can. And marker, home. Because we want to be able to find our way home regardless. Um, marker group, there we go. Let's hit all, because I don't plan on actually grouping those. So, we're off to go find some uh, copper. And see what else we can find out about this world. Okay. So, so far, if you guys are still with me, right? We've done some napping. We've gotten some wood. And we've done a little bit of pottery. And we've done this all in a way that resembles real life. Right? So, so far, so good. We're keeping true to real life to some degree. Now, obviously, food's going to be a thing. We got to we gotta figure out how to do food. Figure out different recipes and things like that, right? Well, oh, some more of those weird bushes. Um, we also got to figure out, like, how do we get animals and stuff like that? All in due time, my friends. But the biggest thing is, is... Do you guys hear a spider? I swear I heard something weird. Either that or I heard something falling. One of the two. 
Let's start with something calling. I don't see a spider. Anyways, sorry. First things first, we need to find, ah, uh, there we go, some ore. Different ores do different things. Galena. I never did look up what Galena was. I believe it might be a form of copper, but don't, uh, don't quote me on that just yet. We, we'll find out here in a bit, together. And we're going to be using a similar process to what we used earlier. Um, speaking of which, uses of earlier, there we go. We need some vegetables in our system because we're slowly dying of hunger. Looks like we found some more pigs. Okay, pigs. Oh, I finally get to show you the difference between male and female. Now, if you look at this one, it has no tusks. But over here, this bad boy. This bad boy's got tusks. That means he's a boar. He's a mean one, too. Well, I guess he's not so mean. He's actually quite friendly. Um, as long as you don't take him off or anything. A little bit later, um, we should find these guys again and go from there. But meantime, in between time, we need to find more ore. Now, I'm sure you guys have noticed, we're finding little bits of ore here and there, here and there. But we're not finding any real large amounts. What's that? Bunchberry. What the hell? It's another weird-ass bird. That sounds like a chicken. I think they added in different kinds of birds, because that kind of reminds me of, like, a hawk or something. But still sounds like a chicken. I wonder if that's, uh, that's a thing they're going to be implementing here soon. That'd be awesome. Like, pet hawks? Oh, hell yeah. Probably got to feed them left and right, though. Uh, it's going to be fun. So I'm wondering what I'm... Yeah, there's some more winter. Did you guys hear that? Yep, 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 yep. Oh, oh goodness, they're coming in packs. Shit, shit. Why can I not run that fast? Come on, up. Oh. Up, 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 up. They don't seem as fast as they normally do. Ooh, that's more. This guy's in daylight, or? I wonder if they nerfed him specifically for this mod pack. That'd be great. Mostly because I hate baby zombies. There's two things I hate in this mod pack. One is baby zombies, because those things don't burn. I don't know why. Okay, there's a lot of native gold around here. We should remember this location if at all possible. So this is a nice little deep area. Ooh. Oh wow, we found some special stone. Oh, oh, don't drown. Don't drown. Don't drown. I don't wanna drown. I'm drowning. I'm drowning. I'm alive. Okay. Cool. So this is a rare find. We actually managed to find some, like, regular stone. Oh, man, I cannot tell you how good that is. Um, normally this stone is a little bit harder to get a hold of. And is that tomatoes? Those are tomatoes. Oh, man, we are... We're finding everything but what we need. Yep, tomatoes. Oh, no. i more baby zombies. Yep, that's exactly what it was. Baby zombies. Baby zombies. Uh, Shush. I don't care about your girl. Bull crap. Oh man. Okay. I'm not sure if I lost him or not, but uh. I think it's time to head home and possibly rethink our strategy. With tomatoes in hand. Let's actually grab uh, all these and combine them into one big tomato pile. That was a lucky break though. Tomatoes? Oh yeah. Since our 
diet has to be varied. This is actually really, really good. I saw something over here. I'm not sure what it is. Might be strawberries or bell peppers. Wow. Didn't see that one coming. So if nothing else, at least we got food for a little while. We're not gonna starve, or at least not initially. Can I only... Okay, those are tomato seeds. These are red bell peppers. There we go. Oh, and there's more over there. Oh! Oh. Only these guys run from you. This is a rare opportunity. Yeah, you guys see exactly what I'm doing. I feel no remorse for this. No, 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 come back here. Doe, the deer, I killed last. Ah, you thought you could hide. Oh! Venice, and rawhide, and oh, oh wow, look at that. Okay, dirt's gonna go. Um, um, stones are gonna go. Uh, this can go, this can go, um, uh, this can go. This is way too much meat, guys, to just let it pass by. This can go, this can go, this can go. These bones can go, this dirt can go, flowers, this is too much food to just let go to waste, I am willing to let every, okay, I think that's, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, I know guys, we just, uh, <laughs> we just wasted last stuff, but look how much meat that thing dropped, oh, wow. And that's all full amounts, too. Oh, jeez. I'd kill for a chest right now, because this... This is a big, big haul. The only issue is, is this stuff is going to rot so quickly. Um, what you normally want to do is you normally want to, like, salt your meat, right? And normally we would do just that. But if you guys haven't noticed, there's no salt. <laughs> At least not, uh close by so we gotta hurry and get this home possibly cook it you know and get going from there I don't think we're too far from the house but oh, there it is okay so there's our little house um wow I, I really don't know what to make of that find I'm still kind of thunderstruck yeah you heard me Fun district. Okay. Bad joking aside, um, we can actually put these down. Um. Okay. Is there anything we can stack in there? Not really. Okay, so we'll put that back down. So, essentially now, looks like we've wasted pretty much a full day. We want to try to set up like we did last time. Where we have, like, straw and wood and stuff like that, right? And this time we want a bunch of clay pots because we want to store all this meat. I mean, there is so much here. So, we need to grab as much of this as possible. And, yeah, that should do for now. And then we want to grab some clay. And we got to hope this meat doesn't go bad before I can get it stored away. And even then, it's not going to last forever. This is a very temporary thing. Okay, um... Come on. 
I cannot believe uh, we managed to. It used to be you only got a couple pieces of uh, venison, but that was that was a gem in the hall. That's gonna keep us fed for a while. That would feed a small town for a couple days at least. Okay. So while we're setting all this up, I'm going to kind of once again do a little bit of a real talk. Here's a question. Why are human brains so damn big? A couple of you are going, well, we're just born that way, right? Well, not completely wrong. There we go. You're not completely wrong, but you're not completely right either. Um, damn it, I left all my wood out there, didn't I? Oh, jeez, it's crawling with me too. Guess I'm gonna have to eat something else for the time being. <laughs> um, we are born that way, but we're born that way. Okay, we're born that way because of a very specific attribute that we've learned. We process food very well. Let me go ahead and turn down the volume on this so you guys don't have to hear that. We process food very well. Now, jeez, they're just gonna sit out there and be assholes, aren't they? I'm trying to give an explanation in here, man. What's wrong with you? Anyways, we process food for two reasons that allow us to do it better than any other animal in the animal kingdom. The first off is we cook our food. A couple of you going, well, does that mean if we cook food and give it to animals, they become smarter? Maybe. Maybe. It's a likely possibility, but this basically allows us to gain the carbohydrates to fuel our brains. Now, our brains, they demolish carbohydrates and all that. I mean, we, we legitimately need so very much food on the regular basis, mostly just to run these big-ass noggins of ours. I mean, that's a legitimate thing. Tempted just to make another fireplace and just put it back here somewhere. Matter of fact, here, let's move this torch a little bit. Pop it up a bit higher. There we go. A bit better. Anyways, so that's half of it. The other half is our varied and very strong diets. We have to eat lots of different foods. Now, over here, we got protein, grain, dairy, vegetable, fruit. Recently, we found out that grain isn't as good for us as a lot of people would like us to think. And it's not because we don't need it in our diet. We do. We, we, we actually need grain. But we need it more for fiber than we do other nutritions. Vegetables and fruits give us most of our minerals and vitamins and stuff like that. And dairy, believe it or not, we're not supposed to eat dairy at past a certain point. But, if you've eaten dairy most of your life, you can ingest dairy. It's a mutation found in human genome, especially um, specific countries, more so in America and European countries than, say, Asian countries, right? But this is a great source of calcium and vitamin D, you know? Now, protein and carbohydrates, mostly found in fruits as well as meats, are what fuel your noggin. They make you smart. They make you a great person. Um, as long as you're eating those, technically you can still fuel your brain. The issue is more to the point of something else entirely. Your brain is only half of you. A couple of you are saying, well, that's all of me. Uh, I'm not a jock. Well, may not be a jock, but you still have to move around and you still have muscles. And in order for your brain to work properly, you need to exercise those muscles. Yes, your muscles will help stimulate your brain because it stimulates your nerves and your nerves stimulate memory and memory stimulates, guess what? Your brain noggins. It's important. Work your body. So... Now that we've gotten that out of the way, I mentioned cooking. 
cooking being a big part of it, right? Okay, I don't see these guys. Hang on. Do you guys even hear them anymore? I don't. Oh, jeez. Grab one pile of wood. I just threw my only two little pieces of stone there. That upsets me ever so much. Ah, it's gonna come back to bite me in the ass in a bit. I actually wanted that stone. Okay. I, I'm sorry, guys. I had to rush out there and get it. Come on, switch out, damn it. There we go. Okay. So, I mentioned cooking and stuff like that, right? Now, a couple of you going, well, how in the bloody hell does cooking affect how we process food? Good question. Very important question, actually. Cooking breaks down food. Okay? So, if I were to take this meat here, right? Drop it in here. And, you know, as you can see, it's already starting to decay a bit, which kind of sucks, but hey, you know, such is life. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, there we go. Let's go ahead and uh, drop this right here. Let's do a little bit of organization work here, since we have the opportunity, right? Okay, and then we'll just keep tossing stuff like that in there. Oh wow, how much do I eat? I only eat a couple ounces at a time, that's kind of nice. Okay. We want this as cooked as possible too. If you noticed, um, the decay stays ever so slightly, but we can deal with that. Anyways, at, since cooking breaks down food, which is pretty important, right? It makes it easier for our bodies to break down the rest of the way, which allows us to get to nutrition. Now, I hear it. There's a couple of vegetarians out there going, well, isn't there more nutrition in raw foods? Well, you're correct. 100% correct. Now, a couple of you are probably patting yourselves on the back, and you shouldn't be. Um. Oh, that's only a little bit. Essentially, yeah. Raw foods do have more to them than cooked foods. The issue is, is the nutrients is there, your body can't get to it. When we cook down foods, like I'm doing right now, our body can actually get to the proteins and starches inside the foods as well as all the other nutrients and pieces that we really need. Without that cooking process, our body basically breaks down what it can and then says a giant F you to the rest of it, which means your body wastes it. It throws it away. It goes out with all your other dead tissue, or maybe it just gets burned off as if it was, you know, a calorie. That's a legitimate issue, a legitimate problem. So, if that's a legitimate problem and issue, then congratulations, you just wasted all that potential. However, I want to make a note, while our zombie friends are burning outside, and before we go and take care of some business, the fact of the matter is, is you don't want to overcook either. Now, a couple of you are probably going, well... Didn't you just say that we need to cook our food in order to get the most out of it? Yes, yes I did. But, once again, as with everything I've been saying, there's a Catch-22. Because, let's face it, I love good Catch-22s. They make my life a happy life. Most of the time. And the... Why do I have rotten flesh? Where is that rotten flesh? Okay, forget that rotten flesh, I want that. Okay. The catch-22 is this. When you overcook something, then you cook the nutrition completely out of it. This you'll normally see when it comes down to, say... How do I put the... Oh, I didn't even notice that one there. Um, how am I doing on green beans? 
don't look probably good, but I could stand to toss a couple more in there. There we go. And, uh, what do I want to get rid of? Uh, hmm. This is a tough one. What can I get rid of? I guess let's get rid of that shovel head for now. Okay. Anyways. So, if you cook too much nutrition out of your food, you end up with this awkward sensation. More or less, you've once again done just as if you hadn't cooked it at all, or maybe even worse, you cooked more nutrition out than your body would have, you know, gotten any other way. So, what's this mean? Overcooked food, bad for you. Undercooked food, bad for you. So what's the perfect temperature for food? Well, that's a tough one. Matter of fact, there's some big debate on that one. So much so that it's impossible for me to tell you. There are some people who say, well, the rawer the better, as long as it's just cooked down enough to break down the tissue. Well, this is to some degree true, but once the tissue started to break down, is it broken down enough, and will your body get the most nutrition? Well, then the answer must be the opposite. You break it down as much as possible before you over-break it down, and there you go. Well, that's true, but keep in mind that unless you're immediately chilling after you've reached that breaking down point, you're kind of um, not looking at carryover heat. And sadly, a lot of people just don't look at carryover heat. It's not the subject on their mind. Ah, sounds like you guys are getting screwed either way, huh? You kind of are. I'm just going to store these on the side of my house for the time being, guys. Anyways, so with all these questions we've just begged, it begs so many more, and there are so few answers I can give you. But keep this in mind. Food makes you smart. Good food makes you even smarter. And the fact that we're even talking about food proves that food is always the topic. Because if nothing else, we survive, we thrive, and we play Minecraft so that we can better allocate food and extend our lives to the fullest. Now, after that, half hot, you know, stupidity rant. If you guys don't mind, I'm going to, um... Come on. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and do some stuff off screen, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Hopefully next time we come back, I'll, uh, have a bit of copper here to show for all our hard work, and all this meat will be properly stored, at least for the time being. Take care. See you soon. Stay well. And just remember... Mahogany. Why? Because I said so. Later, everybody!